Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tasha. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it's a vlog, okay? I haven't done one in a while and I love watching vlogs. They're just one of my favorite videos to watch. That and get ready with me and also haul. So I was like, you know what? I might as well combine all of those into today's video. So that's what we are doing. I also just got out of the shower. So I'm letting my hair air dry so I can straighten it, straighten it. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, I feel like when I wash my hair, I have to straighten it right away. If not, I'm lazy like the whole day. I'm also going to be showing you guys my OOTD. As you guys can see, I am wearing a matching set. So let me show you guys today's outfit. So ignore my mirror. If it looks dirty, I have cleaned this mirror like three times. And no matter what I do to it, it still looks super dirty. But this is the set, you guys. It comes with like a little crop and then the leggings. This is from Lissy Fit. I just discovered this brand on Instagram. They are super expensive, but they're definitely worth it. And I'm also wearing my J Sculpt belt, which I told you guys I will give you an update on it. And I'm going to give it to you guys right now. So I have been using this, I would say, for two to three months already. Right? Or has it been a month and a half? I don't know how long it's been. But you guys, I really like it so far. I'm in a size medium and I like it to kind of shape my body. You know, it really helps to give you that hourglass figure. But you do, of course, have to eat well and work out. So this is what it looks like from the back. As you guys can see, they do have the scrunch butt. So it just makes your body look really, really good. And they are also tall girl friendly. I am 5'7". And they're squat friendly. So highly recommend you guys check out this brands if you're looking for some cute but expensive workout clothes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. I have a whole hair straight routine in case you guys want to go and wash it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to blow dry my hair. So let me go get my blow dryer. I hate blow drying my hair, you guys. I find it so necessary. I just do it when I wash my hair and then I want it straight, you know, right away. So let me go ahead. Alright, so I blow dry my hair. I'm gonna go and add my favorite hair product. Um, I always use the same two hair products for my hair, and I swear they just make my hair so shiny. I love them. They're from Sally's, you guys. Go and get this too, okay? You need this tool in your life. I usually get the this one or the green one. So I'm just gonna put some in my hand and then I just add it to the ends and then I clean my hands because I don't want it to be too oily. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start straightening, strengthening, so hard for me to say that word, my hair. Me voy a laciar el pelo, pretty much. All right guys, so I am done with my hair. This is the final result. As you guys can see, it looks really straight. I love my hair straight. Um, I put this new blush, you guys, on my cheeks and it looks awful. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and fix my makeup and add my lip combo and also change clothes because I have been wearing my waist trainer for a while now. So I'm gonna show you guys why my blush looks like this. I use this new product. Let me set you guys right there. Okay, why is this not turning on? Okay, so. Ow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. I use the, everything's falling. Okay, so for makeup today, I use the Patrick Ta blush. So this is the blush I use in She's So LA. It's such like a pretty neutral blush, but I think, I don't know, it doesn't look that good 
Do you see? It looks like too, like, payasa makeup, right? It just doesn't look that good. Um, so I'm gonna add the ColourPop blush. I feel like that's gonna make it a lot better. I'm gonna add, let's see, a little bit of the ColourPop. And for bronzer today, I used my Alamar Cosmetics in the shade Soltera. You guys know that's like my shade. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm finally hitting pan. I genuinely love Alamar Cosmetics. I feel like they're one of my favorite brands. Yeah, they're definitely one of my favorite brands. That, I love Huda Beauty, I love Artist Couture. Um, and I'm talking about like more higher end. Those are like my go-to brands. What was that? Oh, it's my mom calling. This one, okay, so I'm gonna take, oh my God, everything's falling. I'm gonna take this one from Alamad Cosmetics in Dulce. This is a little bit too light for me because I am pretty tan. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Coqueta. So once I do that, I'm going to take this color in London by NYX. Yeah, this is cute. And maybe even add a little bit of my favorite lip lipstick ever, the Sweet Two. So I'm just gonna take my favorite one, the Makeup Forever one. Now this, like I always say, if you need something to really hold your makeup, this and the Scandinavia or Maybelline will make your makeup last. And this is what my makeup looks like, the lip combo. I need to darken up my beauty mark. But yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead, change clothes. I'm gonna see what I wear. I think I'm just gonna wear a little crop top with some shorts because I'm not getting out of the car so it doesn't matter what I wear. I do not like to wear shorts, like super short shorts in public. As you guys already know, there's a lot of viejo belde por ahí. I don't know how to say that in English, but it's just like creepy man, pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I wear. You guys ignore this whole mess. I'm gonna film hauls so I have everything thrown there. I wanna film a Sarah haul and a Skims haul. Let me know if you guys are interested on that so I can actually do the try on haul. But you guys, I found the shorts thanks to your recommendations. I've been looking for curvy girl friendly shorts. I do have hips and a butt. So I needed some nice shorts. And you guys recommended me this one's from Abercrombie and Fitch. I'm in the 3010. So I'm a size 10 and they fit perfect. So I'm going to put this on okay so i went ahead and changed this is what i'm wearing i still need to figure out what i'm doing for the pants but this top is from viral fash and i really like it you guys and by the way i do get questions about the kind of bra i use i use the victoria's secret one the strapless one and it's the uh, what is it called maybe seduction i don't know i'll link it below but it's the one with a lot of nude colors that's the one i personally like and i love this because it doesn't slip anywhere and it actually stays on and it looks very seamless so i'm putting you guys on into that bra but i'm gonna show you guys my pr stuff that i did get i am super lucky you guys to be getting pr because honestly i don't really get pr from that many brands so you know, I am blessed and proud to show you guys this. I will not be doing this type of stuff every single like month because I really do not get PR like that. But when I do get it, check out my Instagram. So huge shout out to this brand and also thank you to all of you for, you know, allowing me to get this because without you, this just wouldn't happen. So they sent me a mascara, you guys, Urban Decay. I am so happy. I cannot believe Urban Decay sends me stuff. So this is the new Lash Freak mascara. I used it once and I really liked it, but it does make your lashes look really like araña lashes, you know, really spidery spidery lashes so this is what it looks like it creates really nice looking lashes and the wand is actually very very different and unique so you guys see the wand it's super different super unique i have never seen anything like this is my camera even focusing it's not huh let me see what about now i don't think my camera's ever gonna focus but it is a pretty cool looking mascara 
Um, I'll keep you guys updated if it becomes one of my favorite ones. I also got a package from Pixie. Pixie is always coming through, you guys. They're a brand that's been sending me stuff for a while now. So they sent over this fanny pack, which I love. I love fanny packs. I feel like they're very cute and very useful, especially for festivals and stuff. So they sent over some makeup remover wipes. I'll actually try them out. I need stuff like this when I am doing my makeup. We also sent over a moisturizer. This is H2O Skin Drink. And then one of my favorite glitter palettes. I love these glitters. And this is in the color Rose Bronze. You guys know me. I am a glitter girl. So this is up my alley. That's what it looks like open. Really pretty. I'll do a swatch. So you guys can see that look at that they're creamy they're glittery there's just like me me in a palette look how pretty all right i also got a package from la girl i do want to open up my peel box or open a peel box so i can get letters from you guys but that is in the works i'll probably do it later on this year so these are the la girl new lip mousses they are high impact color soft velvety finish luxurious lightweight formula and it comes in all these colors they're really really nice looking my favorite color out of all of them i feel like this one will be perfect for the fall time i do not want to swatch them all because i am giving some away so stay tuned for a future giveaway so my phone died of course i mean not my phone my camera died so i am showing you guys this on my iphone so i got this kululi kululi i think that's how you say it it's an ultra versatile mini fridge thank you for them for sending me this i think you can get it on amazon i'll have everything linked below you know everything i can find check the description box so i am gonna put some water in here and also my skincare i'm so excited i think i'm gonna put it over there in my room even though it is a mess i have to clean everything but yeah guys that is what it looks like i cannot wait oh that's cool you can put it in your car i need to have a big car for that but yeah, thank you to them for sending this over. I cannot wait to put stuff in there. I need to check out what other people put in their fridge. Is that even a thing? I think it is. So let me know if you guys have a skincare fridge and if what you guys put in there because I do not know. And then last but not least, Jcad, you guys. I love Jcad. They sent over some stuff. I remember loving these highlighters in high school when i used to wear highlighter so this is in the color crystal sand we also have this one in twilight and also vella rose so really really cute i'm probably going to be giving away some things as well i have some shimmers which i love their little chrome pink so they sent over that and then lip glosses and their new brow pin that I've been telling you guys about. I've been trying it out. It's kind of hard to use it since I don't have that much brow. So I've been using the glossier one, but I feel like that could be a little dupe. So that's what it looks like swatch. And they also sent a bunch of lip glosses, which I already have in my collection because I love these glosses. And they remind me a lot of the Artist Couture glosses. I need to do a dupe video because there's a lot of good drugstore makeup. So that is what they look like on you guys. They're really cute. As you guys can see, they're not too short, especially from the back. But these pants are from, I mean, this pants, this top is from Viral Fash. They have such cute clothes and I just love the way it just fits. I love, love, love this top. So that's what I'm wearing. And then I'm wearing it with these jeans. And then that's what they look like from the back. As you guys can see, they're not too short and they don't like flatten your butt, which I like. So yeah, that is my OOTD of today. I'm actually going to go and get my tea and my groceries. I'll show you guys everything. So let's go. So I feel like you know my mask because it's full of makeup. Okay, so I'm back home. I wanted to show you guys my groceries before I put them away. I went ahead and I cleaned everything just to be sure. That's what I do, you guys. I get it out of the bag and then I clean literally one item at a time because you can never be too sure. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought. I bought some diced peppers. I love using peppers for a lot of recipes so I always always have peppers and then I also bought pineapples these are really good to snack in the morning or when you just want something refreshing as well as watermelon um, and by the way all of this stuff is from instant cart what you do you download the app and then it tells you like 
which places you can order online and then they'll just put it in your car and make sure you guys tip them because it doesn't tell you to tip them but tip them so guys this do not taste the same as like the island avocados like they just do not taste the same but that's all we have here so i make sure to grab three and she got them like really ripped ripe i don't know how to say it but yeah i'm gonna have to eat this today because look they feel like old that's like the only bad thing this one i think is good i bought some bananas to make smoothies and to even make banana pancakes that's really good like i told you guys i love peppers so i bought more peppers i got red onions and then i also bought this to try out i have tried the spicy one but it's way too spicy for me i cannot do spicy you guys that's something about me in case you didn't know i do not like spicy food at all it just burns my whole mouth <laughs> so i got this ones hopefully they're not spicy do not eat red meat so i only eat chicken and fish it's been like three years so this should taste good and you can make this with like onions peppers which is really delicious i also bought shredded cabbage so what is that why does it look like that is that normal you guys the green part let me know but yeah i got that and then i also bought green beans and then for the sweet stuff i have a sweet tooth you guys i cannot go without any sweet like i need my sweet so i bought this this is the first time i'm gonna try this and then i'll let you guys know they're the crispy mixed fruit they do have a lot of sugar but i don't care so this is the ice cream i bought this is so good trust me get this even if you like dairy get this this is amazing i cannot eat a lot of dairy because it does hurt my stomach so i like things like this this is vegan and it's also dairy free and i get the cookie crumble one because i'm a cookies and cream kind of girl i just love cookies and cream i like oreos that's just like my ice cream flavor every time i go anywhere cookies and cream and then in the background you guys i have my farina original if you guys are puerto rican i'm sure you guys know how good this tastes but if you're not puerto rican i don't know if this is only like a puerto rican thing you guys let me know but this tastes so good i like to eat this in the morning sometimes um when i'm hungry because honestly i don't get hungry in the morning so then the last thing i got are some pizza things these are like the fancy ones the organic ones um, and it only comes with 11 which is, isn't a lot but yeah that is my grocery haul i went to starbucks the line was like huge and i got a grande i think the medium size guava passion fruit drink this low-key tastes like the pink drink which i do not like the pink drink i do not know why people like it i don't like it but it tastes like the pink drink but with a lot of guava instead that's like the best way i can describe this but it does taste pretty good all right so i'm gonna start with what i got in person when i went to old time person i went to return like two things and then that's when i bought the lancome foundation which is right here this foundation you guys i can see why this is top rated this is one of the famous like oily skin foundations it is truly amazing it's the lancome paint adole ultra wear foundation i'm in the color 380 it's a perfect match for me um it's not too light not too dark it's just like that perfect undertone i tried first 360 that was just way off it's too neutral this one has the perfect undertone and it makes your skin look really good in person like in the sunlight it just makes you look really good this foundation from il maquillage is actually really really good as well hopefully it's matching like my chest area um if not then i do not know what to tell you because i didn't drag it to my chest so let's just ignore that but it's a vlog so it doesn't matter i also bought some nyx lip liners i bought new truffle which i really really like and i also got another brown lip liner from nyx you guys know brown lip liner it's like my og favorite liner and new truffle is like the prettiest shade as well i also got an la girl matte press powder in the shade nude beige in my opinion this is one of the best drugstore powders it makes your skin look really pretty gives you extra coverage it just moves out the pores so i needed a new one so i just repurchased another one and i repurchased the brown lip liner also since i was in the la girl area i got the neon eyeliner in the shade what is this called fresh because i want to do like a minty eye look 
so I needed an eyeliner and LA Girl you guys is one of my favorite brands and look at that and they last a really really long time this right here I got it on sale I saw it and I just knew I had to buy it because this this is originally $45 I think someone did return this they did have like 10 in stock but I think they were all used because when I opened it it did look used it was like on the clearance area but honestly I don't really mind like I don't mind this in use in a way maybe that's really gross but it was on sale it was 11 24 and this is a sunless glow self tanning the body blur so i went ahead and blended it out hopefully it looks good i don't know you guys i'm just playing with makeup at this point but it definitely does make me look really really tan and like that gives you that really healthy glow so that's nice but i am low-key glad i didn't pay 45 dollars for this because that's too expensive so i bought the new mulani fruit fresh collection i had to get mango coconut i love coconut it's one of my favorite scents so i bought the lip balm and also the setting spray and this setting spray it's the original one so let's see oh it does smell good it smells like Oh, it smells like coconut. It's, this smells like summer in a bottle. And then I also bought the lip balm. And it has that same scent. I love lip balm a lot. So I'm glad I bought that. And then I also bought this new Lottie London blush. A lot of new drugstore makeup, which I love. This is like an ombre effect. Look how pretty. So it's lighter here and then it fades to a darker color. I really, really been liking that orange pretty color. And I like how this one is matte. And it looks really, really, really pigmented. Look at that. It's matte. It's pigmented. I haven't tried Lottie London in a while, but this seems really, really promising. Let's see. It looks really pigmented. I'll put some here. Oh, you guys, there I go looking like a boyasa again. I think I overdid it today with blush. No more blush for me. But it's really, really pretty. I like it. I like this color. And then I bought the new L'Oreal collection. This is me in a collection. This is the new L'Oreal Gold Mirage collection. You guys, look at this nude packaging. This is everything. Um, so I bought three lip glosses in bronze. I also bought the shade Gold Quartz and I got the shade Copper Quartz. So those are the shades and I think my favorite one, it's either this one or the bronze one. I don't know if you guys remember, I used to be obsessed with the L'Oreal Summer Collection, but from last year, they just have this really good like cherry scent. I don't know, it smells really good and let me go ahead and swatch this color. See, it's pretty gives me like glam girl vibes which i love so each of the glosses had like their own little shadow um i did not pick up the pink gloss which i might get it because they do not seem like they have a lot of pigment but this is pink quartz and then this is the 03 and let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys this low-key reminds me of the dose of colors eyeshadow you see they're like toppers they kind of remind me also of color pop but they were expensive. They were like $12 each. Yeah, these are definitely not pigmented. They're like toppers. And then the last thing I got from Ulta is the Sally Hansen Mega Shine Top Coat. This is what it looks like. I needed a top coat that makes my nails really, really shiny. Because I do do my own manicure at home. I'm actually going to go and do it. I'm thinking of doing an orange color and changing things up. I'm also wearing, you guys, press-ons on my feet. I don't know if that's weird, but I bought some press-ons and I tried them on and I love the way they make my feet look. They just look really like professional. Like I went and spent a lot of money, but it was like $4. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is all I bought from Ulta. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know any videos you guys would like to see from me next. There will be a lot of videos coming up. I think Thursday I have a Target haul and then a new video Sunday. So stay tuned for more videos. Have a beautiful, blessed day, you guys. This was a day in my life. Very boring, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. All that being said, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.